Hey guys, welcome back to some more reviews. I am Horrorboy465, aka Nate Murphy, the Explorer of Horror here. Welcome back to some more reviews. And today we're reviewing Shaun of the Dead. Now, Shaun of the Dead was made in 2004, and it gets a 8.0 on IMDb. I definitely agree with that rating. Directed by Edgar Wright, um, who had directed The World's End, Hot Fuzz. Um, he had also made um, A Fistful of Fingers, a lot of TV stuff, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So he's made some really good movies, um, including this movie, Shaun of the Dead. Now, I wanted to save the reviews for Dead Snow and Shaun of the Dead for, you know, the two last reviews for the Week of the Dead. Um, I'm reviewing Dead Snow a little bit later for episode 12 in the final episode of the week of the dead but episode 11 the figure i review Shaun of the dead now Shaun of the dead um this review might be kind of fast because um i mean there's not really much i can say about it that has been said i mean Shaun of the dead is an absolute classic zombie movie it's an hilarious zombie movie and for many reasons it's an excellent zombie it's an excellent zombie film um you got simon pig and nick frost from a lot of movies they've been in together um hot fuzz Paul, a lot of movies they've been in. And I'm a really big fan of Simon Pegg. I'm a really big fan of Nick Frost as actors. They do a good job in their movies. They're absolutely funny. Huge fan of their work. Um, and I think they do a good job in this movie. Um, also, Edgar Wright did a great job in this movie. It does have some really good shots. The movie has a good look to it. And I've always thought the zombies in this movie looked really cool. You know, they're very basic. A um, couple of CGI enhancements here and there. But... I always thought that the director, Edgar Wright, handled the post-apocalyptic feel really well done, you know, because you got that scene where Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are in the car, they're driving past, like, ambulances and, you know, apartments and houses, and you're seeing zombies everywhere. Um, you're seeing, like, zombies past this one little gate area. Um, and I thought he handled the atmosphere very well, Edgar Wright. Um, did a really good job making this movie. Um... And I don't know, I've always had the zombies in this movie, they're very basic, but they were always sort of just well done, and I've always thought the zombies were just, you know, just well made in this movie, it had some really good makeup effects in this movie. Um, the movie is pretty much, I mean, everything you can ask for. It's a zombie movie with gore, lots of practical effects, um, no CGI, I mean, there's some CGI enhancements, but not a lot of CGI in the movie. Um, it's a hilarious zombie movie. Um, Simon Pegg is a great lead. Um, Nick Frost did a good job acting wise as well. And I really enjoy it. And it's definitely a movie that I remember growing up with. Um, it's a film that I remember watching a lot when I was a kid. And basically, what it's about is you've got this guy named Sean. And he's pretty much, you know, in that point of his life where, you know, he's pretty much turning into, in a way, a zombie. You know, um, his girlfriend breaks up with him. Um, his life is sort of out of control. He parties at night with his friend uh, Nick Frost, or his, you know, Nick Frost character. And, you know, Nick Frost, a likable character, sort of guy that jokes around a lot. Um, sort of one of those guys who, like, sort of messes things up. But in the end, you forgive him. Um, and Sean and him had some really good chemistry together. Um, I do know that, well, first of all, I know that George Romero loves this movie. Um, and I know that he actually has a review on here, an absolute blast. Um, I know that George Romero gave uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost uh, cameos for Land of the Dead, which I reviewed, you know, a couple episodes back. Um, and pretty much uh, Sean's life is pretty much going out of control, and he has to pretty much get his get his life sorted out. And of course, one day he wakes up and the zombie apocalypse happens, and he has to figure out pretty much. You know, to put the pieces back together, to reform his relationship with his um with his girlfriend, and you know he's gonna go get his mom, and they end up having to kill his stepdad, and they end up going to um I believe it was the Winchester, which is a bar, and it's pretty basic, you know, pretty straightforward, you know, it's um a very entertaining time, it's a very fun time, I really enjoyed it, um it's well shot, well acted by some of Peg and Nick Frost. It's a hilarious movie with a lot of funny scenes. And I mean, who hasn't seen Shaun of the Dead? And, 
you know, I do know that when this came out, it's a huge hit over in the UK. Um, and I know that when they released it here, I wonder if it made a lot of money over here in the US. But I do remember it made 13 million in the US and I had a $4 million budget. So, you know, it made quite a bit of money over here still. I mean, it didn't make like, you know, 200 million or something like that, but it, it made quite a bit of money. Cost four million, made thirteen million. It definitely made back its budget. Um, and you know, there's a lot of cool scenes in the movie. A lot of scenes that you can remember. You know, the record scene where they're outside going through the records, and he goes, the Batman soundtrack, and he goes, throw it. He throws it, and he's like, oh no, that's my girlfriend's record. And the guy goes, you're not even dating her anymore, and just throws it. Um, get that scene where it's definitely a funny scene where got this uh, character, I believe his name is Pete or something like that. Um, I think his name is Pete. I'm trying to try and see if his name is. I think it was Pete. Um, yeah, Peter. I, I can't pronounce his last name, but he plays Pete. He did a great job playing sort of a jerk, playing sort of a douche in this movie. He did a great job. He's like, sort your freaking life out. <laughs> and I enjoy the TV cut too, where they actually have a special feature on here, TV cut. And instead of saying the F word, he says funk. So he's like, sore your funkin' life out. And it was just so hilarious. The TV cut's hilarious too. He's like, I gotta go to bed in four freaking hours. Turn off your freaking music. It's just a hilarious scene that was just so funny. And you know, I got the scene where, you know, Nick Frost is driving in the car. You know, he's driving all crazy in the car and um you know, and basically Sean and his friends end up getting to the Winchester. And his mom ended up getting bit, and she turned into a zombie as a shooter. And you got that great, memorable scene at the end of the movie where they put, like, sort of, um, like, they put stools up and stuff and chairs against the window and um, pretty much barricade, barricade the Winchester all up. And I always thought this was a cool scene where, you know, Ed, of course, um, you know, they, they find out that, you know, Sean... You know, you think that he tricked the zombies, and he's like, I didn't give them the slip, they followed us. And then you got Ed just puts in like a quarter in one of the machines, and it's all loud, and then they go, Ed, no! And they unplug the machine, and then you got that great shot, which was really well done, where you just see like like hundreds of zombies go up against the bar's windows, and you just see like silhouettes of the zombies, like, you know... Um, on the glass and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And, you know, the end of the movie is pretty bloody. I mean, they break in. Um, there's a character, David, I believe. Yeah, David, and David played by Dylan Moore, did a great job as sort of a jerk character in this movie. Kind of a nerd, geek dude, but at the same time, he's kind of a jerk. Um, you got Lucy Davis playing Diane, fun character, off the wall character. Um, Kate Ashford as Liz did a good job of Sean's, uh, girlfriend. You know, very strong, capable character, really good character, and pretty much, you know, David gets torn to pieces, practical pieces, and Diane, like, takes one of his legs, and it's like, going through the horde of the zombies, and she's like, I'll find you, David, and it was just hilarious, and, you know, and then she goes out into the crowd of zombies, and she gets eaten, um, Nick Frost character gets bit on the neck, um, he, they end up going down the basement of the um, bar, and Nick Frost stays there trying to find out some zombies. Simon and Peg and, um, and Kate Ashfield, they go up to the street. There's zombies everywhere. The military arrives. They shoot some zombies, and then the end of the movie is pretty much uh, Simon and Peg has kept Nick Frost's character, Ed, in a shed, and he's playing video games with them. It's a really fun movie, and I love the soundtrack. I love the opening song. Um, of course, got that song. Um, at the end of the movie, um, trying to see all the songs here, but I really enjoyed the song. Um, you got, you got Panic, you got, you got a couple of songs in here like Zombie from, uh, Dawn of the Dead from that, I believe, group The Goblin or something like that. And then you got the Gonk from, Zom from uh, Dawn of the Dead, and, um, you're my best friend, performed by Queen. You got uh, Panic, um, White Lines, 
a lot of cool stuff. Ghost Town, The Blue Wrath. A lot of cool music in this movie. I really enjoyed the music. It has a great soundtrack. Really good music to the movie. And I always remember the opening to this movie, the DVD, and that's how memorable I can remember the opening to this movie on the DVD. On um, the DVD menu where you know you got like a cartoon sort of Sean running up to this building, hitting the zombie, running up to the building, and you see sort of like an animated bar and like every place is where you can click for scene selection, special features, play a movie. Really, really cool DVD menu too. And yes, I've played I've also played the game online. Where, you know, you play as Sean, you're running through and you're hitting zombies. Apologize for that, guys, if you guys can hear that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Shaun of the Dead's an absolute classic. I love it. It's hilarious. It's a great zombie movie, and I absolutely love it. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching my review on Shaun of the Dead. No, kind of a short review compared to my other ones. But, I don't know what else I more can say. I mean, I love Shaun of the Dead. Absolute classic zombie movie. And, yes, yeah, so thanks for watching episode 11 of The Week of the Dead. I'll see you guys on the final episode of The League of the Dead, episode 12, for my review of Dead Snow. I absolutely love that movie as well. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this review on Shaun of the Dead, and I'll see you guys on the next review.